I'm standing in front of Wayne Thiebaud's City Views from 2004. This is an extremely impressive landscape by the artist, um, one of the largest that we know of. And this was done um, looking at his favorite city of San Francisco. This work is being sold by the Gladstone Institutes, which is a nonprofit biomedical research institute in San Francisco. This work was actually commissioned in the early 2000s by the nonprofit for Thibaut to create this work for their entranceway to inspire the scientists that worked there. When Thibaut finished the piece, it was actually a year before the building was complete. So he kept the work in his studio and tinkered with it a little bit. And as you can see, he kind of tinkered with different areas of the painting to create, in my opinion, um, little hints of his career. As you can see, the median in the center panel um, it kind of has these diagonal stripes on it, which almost start to look like a necktie. And the little kind of trees and bushes around the painting as well start to look like his famed cupcakes. So in many ways, it's like a retrospective of Thibaut in a painting. Since Wayne Thibaut's passing last year, um, we're interested to see how his market adapts. So far, we don't have any huge data points really to point to. This is going to be one of the first. Um, just Recently, Christie set the record for any Tebow at auction for $19.1 million for the pinball machines that we were very lucky to offer. And since then, we've seen very high prices for late landscapes. One of our competitors sold a large landscape just similar in scale to this to the center panel for $9.8 million. So the estimate of this work at 10 to 15 million is conservative in our opinion, and we're looking forward to seeing what it what it brings.